what is up guys hello welcome to the channel and this team you you can recognize this for sure this is a John Cus team and John Cus is a really great trainer and this team is so fun to use and look what we did we caught a bone club let's go <laughs> so that move threw them off and here comes the squamery I'm going straight for the shadow ball because most people think that their flim is going for the ice wind but no that's not how we do things we do things the hard way and also that's gonna cost us sometimes but baiting it's not my thing it's not it's it's gonna put you in trouble most of the time but here I could safely bait right since this ice wind could KO the discovery and grab a shield perfecto let's go now we caught another move from this squamery so that's very good wow i'm doing great switches here and that's lovely and here i'm just gonna farm out farm up a bit since the squamery is staying so i'm gonna take advantage of that mistake from our opponent although the sky attack is gonna add up i think i have add up energy so to win this i mean to yeah to have an advantage to whatever's gonna come so what's what's coming who's gonna deal with when it's not so it will be a wish cash and a little bit of like there i stop for a bit just to give them a shot at you no know, catching up with us but unfortunately you know they're not really lagging it's just it just happens to me and i tried to catch a mod bomb but we failed it's okay <laughs> i love doing this aggressive switches you know this team is fun to use and i will be the one to tell you this team like i think it's the most fun team i ever play with since like all the possibilities all the switches you can do it's just amazing and look what our opponent did pull off they tr they decided to catch the ice with the Marowak, which is a great play that is that is a smart play for them but i still have toxic rock and the stone face both weak to wish cash and i think i'm gonna get rid of this i don't matter right right now since i don't want it there and here comes talk i mean i mean wish cash and i can shield this or maybe not and come in with toxic rock just to counter them down or throw the mud bomb just to secure the win mud bomb lands and that's gonna be a win let's go first win of the set and yeah now on to the next battle toxic rope into scrafty this is a pretty good lead we resist the counter damage from the scrafty and i am going to resist foul play as well although foul play is gonna do some decent amount of damage and at this point i think i'm just gonna counter them now but i don't want them to get to a foul play because that foul play would do way more damage but here comes victor bell and and the <laughs> and this set i have faced a bunch of shadow victory bell also in another previous set there's just a bunch of shadow pokemon it's crazy this team kind of suffers kind of struggles against shadow pokemon and there were an obnoxious amount of them and here comes the normal stunfisk we lose to this thing i think yep since the normal stunfisk gets to the mad bomb pretty quick and i'm gonna shield the up since that will do a lot to get around stunfisk and i did bait and watch what watch what will happen no shield when i decide to bait people don't shield when i don't bait they shield and that's the way it is i i couldn't get it through a successful bait you know it always happens but anyways that's that's how it is this thing is still alive and Griffin is definitely gonna go down to this normal stunt face this charge comes through and if we get if the opponent don't gets to another mud bomb then this is definitely this there is a chance to win right anyways forget it they get there in time 
Bad Bomb comes true. And he did it. Yeah, the Shadow Victor Bell. He's gonna Razor let me down. Although I'm still alive, right? And the normal surface. Oh man. They win with 1 HP. Wow. That's a good game. <laughs> uh, it's still fun for me. But another victory bell. I hate these things. Like, man. They're, they're just overpowered. <laughs> but I think I'm not sure how to deal with this thing since that thing, victory bell, is kind of a tough uh, thing to deal with. But here comes a Mawile, another shadow Pokemon. Right, so we were able to debuff its attack and the fire fang damage is adding up. But I'm gonna shield this up this to preserve the health of my Rifflin. And I'm gonna throw this Shadow Ball. They're, they're actually also very good. They caught the Ice Wind on the first the first uh, time I get to the charge move. But anyways, I'm gonna go down. I still have Toxic Rope. I think Toxic Rope will be a better match up against this thing right so there's a few more counters but it was able to stay alive iron head comes through i'm just going to mud shut this thing down and victory bolt is probably going to appear and it has a move ready oh my gosh not only that it hurts a lot it also gets oh so they hit us with an acid spray that will lower my defense and I wanna, I wanna get rid of this right now because I don't like the damage I'm taking but it will be an obstacle perfect just perfect let's go <laughs> but anyways I'm just gonna watch myself go down now that's gonna be a good game toxic girl into a whimsy card oh I thought it was running charm so I did a quick switch to Fisk. And since they're not switching, I think yeah, it's a good idea to throw this rock site immediately. Right? It seems like if they ever plan to switch, they will be you know kind of you know what I mean, you know. I couldn't put it into words. But this Vince, I mean Whimsy call, right? Okay, Azumar comes in to bubble me down, but I am able to get to the earthquake. This earthquake will do a lot to the Azu. Earthquake hits. Now that's a pretty that's pretty good since this team struggles against the Azu. And I'm gonna shield this up. It says the Caustic Rock is squishy, although we would have survived that clear off. And I'm going straight for the mud I mean for the sludge bomb. This will definitely KO the Azu. We got a shield. Oh man. I I should have made. But another player off coming through, I have to shield it up. Since Wimscott, oh, I did a quick swap. That's perfect. Let's go. Moonblast comes through, putting. Oh my, that did a lot. I need to get rid of this Wimscott right now. Because what if they get another Moonblast and that will be lethal to Dr. Crow? Alright, Wimscott is gone, but they do have Mawile, but I have loaded energy. Oh uh, no, forget it. I don't have any energy. This fire fang is going to wreck Toxic Rope apart. And I think Oh, we are able to counter them down. All I need is to get to another charge move. I could have gone for the sludge bomb, but I'm afraid that they are near to another charge move. And we're able to survive, but one counter them erases the attitude. Let's go, that's a good game. Now on to the next one against Anna 94 Toxic Rogue into another victory bell. Oh god. <laughs> so I had like three sets where there are just shadow Pokemon everywhere. And uh, I mean two sets or three sets, I couldn't remember. I I often don't keep those memories in my brain <laughs> since they are just I don't like shadows. But I will although I wanna use shadow Pokemon in the future, but they are just Stardust. Uh, they cause a lot of Stardust but I was able to land the Shadow Ball which is great and at this point I'm just gonna bait with that Ice Wind and they decide not to shield that which is a smart play for them we still have two shields and I will not shield this up knowing I will survive but anyways 
I did a quick swap because I don't want them to bubble me down completely. But, excuse me. And slash bomb coming through. This will probably get a shield. Or not. No, they're staying in. Alright, so I'm gonna let this go through since Toxic Rope doesn't have any use at this point. And I'm gonna come in with Tox I mean with Lana Stone Fisk. They still have two shields, which is unfortunate. And they still have Azu. I mean it, it has loaded energy. The last time I remember. So I think I will shield this up just in case. Uh it's a hydro pump. Right? But I'm gonna match up them down. And I'm loaded with energy. They still have two shields and they have a picture ball. They still have picture ball. That that was their lead. Maybe my win con here is if I catch the charge move from the victory ball since the leaf blade will do a lot to Gladys Tongue Fist. I need to get to another charge charge move and I did. Oh man. I tried to catch something and we get to our charge move but we lose CMP tie. That's fine. <laughs> so that's gonna be a good game. Two out of three. That's okay. You know, you can't win them all, but anyways, so if you're still here, I wanna thank you for watching. And if you're new, subscribe and hit the like button if you like this video. So thank you for watching and have a good day.